Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. The fuse is but 30 heartbeats. That's enough. Once you see the signal, count it down. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Njord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einher Yar are holding fear in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Bigvir, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. Good riddance! <laughs>
Need more soldiers since our last visit. Hmm. Our disadvantages are many. Nothing good can come of this noise. Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. Come on, we're making good time. of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us that some of our choices were predictable. But we have changed. The Norn said you'd kill Heimdall, but you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? 
God's the man. What? The most annoying man alive. More up ahead. On your mark. Careful, brother. You're covered in bison. Come <laughs> on. 
Underneath hog. It was in our way. Aye, I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the world tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neath hog protects the tree's roots wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin. <laughs> Extra noise once the assault begins. If we distract them long enough, Hildespini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. There's an altar behind these vines. Call on Skull, please. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. Coming for you, Ingvi. Completely giving away your position. <laughs> what idiots! Oh, if it isn't Queen Mistletoe herself. Hilarious, by the way. Been a while. I'm dull. <laughs> and you must be the little half-breed's father. Lucky day! <laughs> you have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lap dog. Hmm. <laughs> well, the burden is mine. I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this. But we know how this ends. 
See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished here. Now, what you got? So so angry. With your reputation, I thought if it would at least break a sweat. You think he 
you can bring down the Asgard. Hurry! <laughs> Spare me out of pity. <laughs> Let it go, you may live. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to gut him. <laughs> 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 this is your final warning. I don't think a warning is going to cut it. You think you get to just walk away? No. That is not how this works. You do not get to decide my fate! You are dead. Slow down! You are in way over your head! Don't you know who I am? I am the water of the AC! The Herald of Ragnarok! I am going to find that little mongrel of yours and beat his face into a pulp! Only one of us is walking away from this. Sure as shit, it will not be you! How dare me try and spare me! I don't know if we are breaking fate, or fate's breaking us. Hey, 
A little help? At least the rescue's going well. Hey, I'm a trade. You okay? Hi. 
them for long. seeing your faces. <laughs> Relax. It's flying. We're flying. I knew it would do that. That's the end of Birger. You think he survived that? He's down there picking the dirt out of his nails with the beast's feathers. You'll see. He 
Uh, he has to be. We're almost there, Ingvi. Just hold on a bit longer. I don't suppose I have much of a choice at the moment. and boiling water. Red root and lamb's grass. I know, I know. You think I never staunch a bleeder before? Oh, now don't you go worrying, boss. I didn't go through any of your stuff while you was off being tortured. Ah, damn it, Linda. Easy. Heck you says it made for. I ain't the one who stuck you like a damn pig. No offense. Freya, mind giving her a hand? We're just taking over entirely? Hold still. She'll just get you stable so I can take you to Sindri's house. The rest of my herbs are there. We'll protect the realm in your absence. The four of us. Vanaheim's in good hands. Party at Sindri's house, then. Huh? Whoever that is. Your boat. Nope. Your boat. Go on. Take it. Sail the skies, sun yourself on its bow. You look like you could use it. <laughs> Make a Vanir god proud. <clears throat> Gave you his boat? Nice. He left me no choice. Because it was necessary, not because it was written. 